Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to understand what is algorithm and what is the difference between algorithm, pseudocode, and the program. So, before starting, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further notification of these similar videos. So, let's start. Let's assume you are in a coding interview and the interviewer asks you a question or he gives you a problem statement. Okay, so he gives you a coding question. Now, he is asking you to find the approach or to write the approach or the steps which can actually solve the problem okay the point to note here is he is not asking for any coding or the implementation that means he is not asking you to write the code in any particular programming language okay he is just asking you to write the logic which can actually solve this problem okay he is just asking you to write on the pen paper okay he is just asking you to write the approach or the logic on the pen and paper okay so basically he is asking you to write a algorithm or in simpler sense he is asking you to write a pseudo code for this question which can actually solve this question or the problem so what is this algorithm mean so basically algorithm is collection of very defined finite number of steps okay which can actually take the input and it can produce the output to solve a particular problem okay and the problem can be any computational problem okay which is actually computing something okay so for example you are given a problem okay and the problem can be anything like linear search or finding the factorial of a number now what is linear search i will tell you in the upcoming videos if you don't know okay so linear search is basically uh you can say finding or searching a number out of a large collection of numbers okay and factorial i hope you know okay so you are given this problem and somebody asks you to solve this problem or to uh, give you the logic so basically you will write the logic that logic will be called as the algorithm okay so logic you can say or the approach to solve that problem is basically a algorithm okay and the algorithm will contain many number of steps okay many number of uh, you can say steps to solve that particular problem okay and while you are giving the approach you will take the help of various data structures okay so you can say you can use the arrays you can use the linked list okay i hope you have understood what are the various data structure in your data structures course okay if you don't know i will make the separate videos on the data structures also or if you are seeing this video in the future then you will find the various data structures videos okay so you will use the various data structure and you will uh, take the help of them to write the algorithm or the logic to solve that particular problem after writing the algorithm you write the program or you implement that algorithm in any of the programming language that you know okay you can implement the algorithm in c c plus plus or any of the programming language okay so you can actually compile this program okay you can compile this program and you can get the exe and you can run that program okay and the program will take certain number of input and it will produce certain number of outputs also right so now let's understand what is the difference between algorithm pseudocode and the program with the help of example so for example you are given a problem or the question that you are given an array and you have to find the sum of all the elements of that array so let's say you have an array which contains four elements 5 3 20 and 6 so sum of 5 3 20 and 6 will be 34 okay so you have to take this array as the input and you have to print 34 as the output okay and the array can contain any number of elements okay the size of the array will be taken by the user okay so how do we write the algorithm so basically algorithm can be written in any natural language what do i mean by natural language natural language means you can write the algorithm in english you can write in the hindi or you can write in any of the other language that you know for example you know marathi you can write in the marathi language but one thing you should take care of while you are writing the algorithm let's say you are writing the algorithm in marathi language but the programmer who will actually later on implement your algorithm okay he is not able to understand the marathi language then he will not be able to write your l then he will not be able to understand your algorithm right so if he know english language you can just use the english language okay but let's say if he know marathi language also you can write in the marathi language also okay but actually we prefer english language okay to write the algorithm okay because it is a like global language okay so how do we write the algorithm for this question so basically 
you can write the algorithm in various steps okay you can write the first step as start of the algorithm and the last step where the algorithm is ending you can write the stop so for this question we will first ask the user to enter the size of the array okay so size of the array we are denoting by n okay then we will say okay enter or read the uh, values inside the array okay so these are the total values inside the array okay so basically for this question n was 4 okay and the total number of elements are 5 3 26 these are the actual numbers okay which we are reading using this line okay and then the third step or the third uh, logic line will be that we have to take a variable okay that is sum which will be initially 0 and it will contain the this total 34 answer at last okay so initially it is 0 because we have not added any elements till now then the next step of the logic or the algorithm will be that we will add all the elements one by one of that array okay we will add 5 then 3 okay then we will add uh, 20 with the previous sum that is 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 20 it will be 28 so sum will contain 28 then this sum will be added with the next element that is 6 okay so 28 plus 6 will be 34 okay and we will store the answer in some variable okay and after that we will print this particular final sum value okay this sum okay which will contain 34 and after that we will stop okay so this is the algorithm for this question so now if you observe here we have write the uh, most of the steps in normal english language okay there is a another way to write the algorithm this is this way okay so basically here if you see this step and all elements one by one of the array we have actually elaborated this step we have said okay you just start from i equal to 0 to n okay that means from 0 to 4 okay but basically it will be actually n minus 1 okay so n minus 1 will means 3 you add the zeroth element you add one you add second element you add third element okay so you keep on adding in this way for i equal to zero you take a zero okay if the name of this array is a right so you add a zero that is five okay then you take i equal to one then you add a one that is three and so on okay so basically we have just elaborated this okay in form of some you can say code okay so it will be easy to understand for the programmer later on to understand this steps of the sum okay and then we can just print the sum okay so this is one of the other way to write the algorithm okay do not write everything in plain english okay? because it will be like not easy for the programmer to later on code this okay so this is somewhat better now let's understand what is pseudocode so basically pseudocode is actually a simpler version of the you can say algorithm or the program okay but pseudocode actually looks like actual program but it will not be actually runnable on your computer okay you will not be actually run this and the compiler will not be able to actually understand this pseudocode okay so basically this is the pseudocode for this question okay so pseudo means this is not real okay a code which is not real but which actually looks like a code so here you can see we have make a function that is find sum and which is taking the array and the number of elements of this array okay as the input and it is actually finding the sum and it is actually returning the sum okay but if you see that this particular line for line okay for i equal to 0 to uh, you can say uh, let's say n minus 1 okay this line will actually be uh, you can say not be able to run okay if you write just directly this line in any of the id okay but this is actually a simpler version of the program that you can actually understand okay so that means pseudocode is also independent of any programming language okay so here we have just made a function find some so here actually i have implemented this uh, part okay so here i have not shown uh, those lines which are asking the user about the value of the n and the uh, entering the elements okay you can just uh, assume that they are actually given okay we have to just write the logic of the finding the sum so basically we have used the sum equal to zero okay 
and then we are repeatedly adding all the elements of the array one by one okay so this for loop is saying repeat this added this uh, line again and again okay till this point okay and after that you just return the sum okay so we have just used the word function okay in some of the books uh before this find sum we just write function word okay and in some of the books they say just write the algorithm word okay because this is just a pseudocode we are not writing here void or int okay because pseudocode is not a program actually okay it is independent of any programming language okay so you can uh, see so you can use any of the approach okay so basically when you are asked in the interview that uh, please write the uh, approach uh, which can actually solve this particular question or any of the other similar question okay or any of the other coding question so basically we prefer to write the pseudo code actually okay because this is somewhat more simpler version of the programming okay or more simpler version of the algorithm this is not a plain english word okay uh, this will be easy for the interviewer also to understand okay so yeah you can just write pseudo code okay instead of writing the plain english okay algorithm and in our course also we'll uh, see we will write the pseudo code instead of writing the plain english okay and i will assume pseudo code and the algorithm as uh, one of the same thing okay so now after you have written the pseudo code the interviewer can ask you to write the actual code okay in any of the id so program is the actual code which you write in any of the programming language like you can write in the c c plus plus java javascript or any of the programming language okay so here is the programming implementation okay so here you can see i have written this code actually in the c okay and this can also work in the c plus plus okay so basically all the other things are same here we have the find sum okay and here these are the you can say parameters okay and we have used the data type okay because in c and c plus plus we have the inter data type okay and this complete function is actually returning the sum which will be actually integer type so we have written the int okay and then we have declared the variable okay in sum equal to zero and then we have added all the elements of the array one by one okay and this loop can be run in the c and c plus plus programming language okay so i hope you have understood the difference between the algorithm pseudocode and the program algorithm is something or the logic which you can write in any of the natural language pseudocode is the simpler version of the program okay and we prefer to write the pseudocode okay instead of the plain english okay and the program is the actual code okay so now let's finally understand what are the various other differences between the algorithm and the program and when i will say algorithm you can assume the pseudocode and the algorithm as one and the same thing okay so basically when you are writing the algorithm it means you are designing the solution of a problem okay and when you are writing the program that means it is the actual implementation of that particular design so basically if you go to a architecture to design your house so first he will take a paper and he will use his all uh, you can say logic and he will make the you can say gallery he will make the rooms he will make the verandas and everything okay but this is not the actual house this is actually a design on the piece of paper but when this design is you can say implemented that means you take a land okay and on that land you take cement bricks and you make the actual house so that is actually the analogy with the program okay so this is actually design and this is basically the program program you can do in any of the programming language that you know okay now algorithm it can be written in any language and again as you know program can be written in any programming language okay now the third difference is the person who is writing the algorithm he should have some domain knowledge what is meant by domain knowledge for example if you are writing a algorithm for the aircraft system okay for example if you are writing the algorithm for the radar okay and let's say in the airship okay or in the aeroplane you have the radar system right so you should know something about like uh, velocity okay or the you can say displacement or some uh, directions okay longitude latitude this thing you should know so that you can use that domain knowledge while you are giving the solution for a particular uh, problem which is related to your you can say navigation system now at last programmer will actually write the program and the programmer should also have the domain knowledge okay while he is implementing that particular uh, you can say algorithm okay 
Now the four differences. Algorithm are actually hardware and software independent. That means if you are writing some software, okay, then you need not to bother about that whether you are writing for the uh, Linux operating system or you are writing for the Microsoft operating system. Okay, you should just have the knowledge of the operating system. Okay, that what are the various you can say uh, system call. Okay, so that will be like somewhat easy. Okay, although that are also not needed, but uh, some domain knowledge as i said earlier it will be uh, okay or it will be good when you are writing the algorithm but when you are writing the program okay then you should take care of that if you are writing the software for the linux operating system or you are writing the for the microsoft that is windows operating system okay then you should take care of these implementation related details okay because for the microsoft there are some other system calls okay and for the linux there are some other system calls okay so some of the things become hardware dependent and the software dependent while you are writing the program okay now when you write the algorithm then you actually test your algorithm okay but that testing of the algorithm is called analysis okay you basically analyze your algorithm with respect to time and space okay so what does it mean uh, time and space analysis i will tell you in the later videos okay and after you have written the algorithm you test the program that is you do the testing okay we have the testers in our uh, software companies which actually test the program okay written by the developers okay so we test the program and we actually analyze the algorithm but analysis and the testing are actually doing the same work okay they are actually checking the validity of the algorithm whether it is working on all the inputs and giving the correct output program is also actually uh, being tested on the various input to check whether the output is correct or not okay but the terminologies are actually uh, you can say somewhat different so yeah i hope you have understood what is algorithm and what is the difference between algorithm program and the pseudocode so if you like the video please like share and comment this video and subscribe the channel so now let's move to the next video and understand what is meant by design and analysis of algorithm. So till then, goodbye.